Right, today we are going to make some really hearty beef pies. And I, in the past I've bought sort of ground beef or minced min beef and found it a bit fatty and there's some not quite right looking things in, in the mince. So what I've done is I've taken some, and what I've been doing for the, uh, lately, is getting a nice piece of rump steak, slicing it up thinly. So this has come straight out of the freezer. So I'm just going to let this thaw a bit, and then I'm going to start chopping it the other way, and then again that way, and then again that way, until it actually is almost the consistency of mince. And then I'm going to put some onions and some peas and some peas in there, maybe some carrot, and um, we're going to use uh, good old Bisto to make a gravy for all of that uh, with the meat. And um, we'll pop that inside some puff pastry. It's going to be gorgeous. Right. Firstly, onions in. And we're just going to let them sort of sweat and get soft and everything. I've done the meat, so that's all. It looks, I'll just give you a wee, a wee look here. I can swivel this around. So that's all nicely, it's chopped up so fine it looks like mince, but it's rump steak so it's going to be a joy. Right, in with the meat, we'll brown that, and then we will put in our peas and our beans, and then the gravy. And there we have it, that's the um, peas and the beans and the beef, and I've put two tablespoons of Bisto in there with some water, and we've got that nice and thick, so it's a, of a consistency of gravy. So we're going to pop those. Once my pastry is thawed, I'll roll that out and uh, we'll pop them in the pie dishes, some grated cheese on the top, and then the top of the pie. Right, we've rolled out pastry. So now, we're going to make some of our pies. So let's take Lovely, 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 lovely. I can almost taste these. And I'm just going to dampen down these edges here. There we have it. Now here's our mixture of beef and peas and green beans. Doesn't look like it would be appetising, but I tell you, I've tasted it, and it certainly is. So, now we're going to put a bit of grated cheese on there because because it tastes nice, that's why. <laughs> so a little bit of grated cheese. And when I, when I say a little bit, I mean put as much in as you want to. Right, then take left over, brush as much flour off as possible, because then it's more likely to stick. Right, yeah. 
that on there and just squeeze it all the way around the edges and then cut it off and just about everyone who's watching this now is screaming at the screen going you need to poke holes in the top you need to poke holes in the top and you're right you do need to poke holes in the top there we go and you can brush the top also with some melted butter and that will really make that um, taste beautiful so there we go I'm going to do the rest of these put them in the oven and we'll come back when I pull them out and there you have it there's my two pies fresh out of the oven beautiful and golden brown <clears throat> I'm going to pop those out of there put some tomato sauce on it and then I will be in heaven thank you we'll see you on the next recipe